One by one, a line of mourners came to say a goodbye to Bishop Guy Sansarig. But the farewell was especially painful for Michel Guerrier, someone who considered him a spiritual father and a best friend. Father, you meant the world to me. I'm hopeful that, you know, we, we're going to get a saint out of this one. A wait for Bishop Sansarik was held Tuesday at St. Jerome's Parish in East Flatbush, where he served as pastor for more than a decade. He died on August 21st, just one day shy of the 15th anniversary of his Episcopal ordination. He spent 50 years of his ministry as an invaluable resource for Haitians in the Diocese of Brooklyn, not just for spiritual needs, but social, economic, and immigration needs too. People from Haiti could feel they belong to one body. His message was one of unity. Monsignor Pierre-André Pierre had been living with Bishop Sansarique at St. Gregory the Great for more than a year. He said he'll miss their nightly strolls through the neighborhood, but is proud to follow in his footsteps, taking over as the leader of the National Center of the Haitian Apostolate for now. At St. Gregory, everybody would come to him. He was the, the glue. Following the recent earthquake in Haiti, Bishop Sansarique, the first Haitian bishop in the United States, quickly turned his efforts to the people and home he loved. Parishioners say he was both a powerhouse and a humble pastor. You always felt comfortable coming to Mass, always felt comfortable talking to him, um, and he, you could tell he has a, a soft, nice heart, and everyone has always said the same thing. Bishop Sansarique's wake on Wednesday will be held at St. Gregory the Great, and his massive Christian burial will be held on Thursday at the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph. In East Flatbush, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.